Hi guys, I've been working with my SOC kit as my previous videos and I've had these problems with uh, interfacing with the USB webcam because the demo linear Linux image that was at Rocket Boards did not support UVC natively so I had to recompile the the Linux kernel in order to support UVC so after a a uh, few days of figuring out and with the help of uh, other people I'll post in the links below uh, I was able to figure out how to recompile the UVC support for the new kernel module for UVC and then aside from that I also tried a lot of uh, simple modifications to the to the uh, Linux source for example uh, changing the boot image which which was a uh, kind of fun and anyway I'm going to show you here uh, one of my board here that is running and I'm going to reboot it and you can see the uh, the boot screen so here it is this is uh, one of my board and I'm in my hardware uh, testing area this other board is actually compiling synergy and it's uh it's feeding to a serial cable here a USB serial it actually goes through to there so this one uh, that's actually for serial and it uh it connects to this interface here which is CMake compiling synergy my hope is that uh, syner once Synergy is compiled, I can only use uh, one single keyboard and mouse for all my all all the boards. So, so here we go. This board only has the uh, the memory card, which has the updated kernel that I recently compiled. It has a new boot image and a new and a new kernel module which supports. UVC or the USB video class for webcam support and as you can see there are no OTG uh, pins uh, there are no USB OTG here uh, nothing's connected and we're not checking the serial and certainly no JTAG connection so only the memory card and the USB video out I mean the VGA video out so uh, so here we go. This uh, webcam, the C525, is connected to the other board for uh, testing. I'll post in another video a few of the uh, problems I've encountered with the Logitech C525 and the USB OTG with this uh, Linux kernel while using a USB hub. Uh, so I'll post it in a later video. Anyway, for this video, I'm going to reboot this. Uh, <coughs> I'm gonna reboot this board so let me zoom out once I reboot this board I'm gonna turn it on back again just uh, you can see the monitor here I've actually modified the uh, boot image for test purposes as you can see there shows Bangun Kali Linux. How cool is that? Anyway, that's just some testing if I could uh, do some stuff with the Linux source and anyway it was not that hard. I'm I'm gonna post the link for the procedure down below in the comments sec in the description and anyone can follow it. So this is it. It's now booting the uh, device it's actually taking some time anyway but uh, it actually booted earlier I don't know why this is taking a lot of time to boot now <clears throat> there there could probably be a problem anyway I'm gonna see that once I connect the serial connection uh, I'm gonna do that later so let's try to reboot once again.
Let's try. Whatever happened to this, it's no longer booting. Maybe there was a kernel panic or whatsoever. I'm gonna check that out later. Okay, it's booting now. The uh, should show up. Linux should show up anyway. There you go. There's Linux. So this one here is still compiling. As you can see from here. And it's actually already 100%, but uh, it's conducting the unit tests. Okay, and it's done. It's done. We're going to have the opportunity to test Synergy working in this monitor. My idea is to connect it to this uh, uh, workstation here so that I'm going to be using only one mouse and keyboard for this unit, which is connected to this one. and to my workstation here so uh, thanks for watching it has been great fun uh, working with these boards and check out my other videos dealing with the cubby board and more to come soon thanks for watching have a great day